everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. So excited to show you these two projects I made today. Uh, let me tell you what I used. I used the Echo Park 6x6 paper pad, My Favorite Spring. I used one page of the 3x4 journaling cards from My Favorite Easter by Echo Park as well. It has the carrots on the back. And then I used My Favorite Spring Coordinating Solids paper pack. So that's it. These these three things made two books. I barely had any scraps left. All of this was available from Country Craft Creations. I did use the white artisan cardstock. And let me tell you, that stuff is fabulous. So if you haven't used it, go get it. Put it on order. You can um, get, cut the chipboard today. Chipboards, of course, available at Country Craft Creations. And get started, and by the time the papers come in, you'll be ready to rock and roll. So let me show you these books. So this one first is 5 inches by 4 inches, and it's got an inch and a quarter spine. And uh, you can see here's a cut apart, and that is from the four, uh, 3 by 4 cut apart sheet. And I use those throughout the book. I just was in the mood for making something, something cute and teeny and small and whatever. I did put a couple of uh, gems on the corner from my stash. I used the green from the Coordinating Solids pack and just broke it up with just a strip of some uh, the butterfly paper that was in the uh, 6x6 paper pad. So, and I don't have a tutorial on this, but I will show you real quick how I made the pages and um, they're pretty easy to do. So, oh, and also I use two things for my stash. I use a die. I had this die. I've had it in my stash. I can't tell you where it came from. But if you have any edge punch or die, that would work nicely. And if you don't, just keep it straight. No big deal. It'll go together that much faster. I also had some oval dies in my stash from a long time ago, probably when I first started paper crafting. Now, I don't have egg shapes, but the ovals work really well for East. So this was part of a border strip. It could have been a cut apart. I don't remember exactly. Um, but didn't that look nice? And then I cut that out of um, one of the pages that I didn't use the rest of it. So, and aren't these ducks adorable? Oh, happy day. I would have used this for the cover, but it needed to be not as wide. I don't know. They're just cute. They're adorable. So anyhow, each page is the same. There's four signatures in here, and I'll show you what it is. So this opens up, and it's a flap that comes out. So this was originally about six inches that I scored at three, and then folded, and then I, I used the die to cut it. So that's it. That's it for the flap. And then here's the page. The pages are three and a half by four and a half. So I cut four sheets of paper, three by four, and then I cut four, five and a half by three and a half. And that I put the long side at the top, scored a half an inch on both sides, and just made a tube out of the three and a half by four and a half and uh, three and a half by five and a half, just made a tube. And so that's the base of the pages. And then on the back of the pages, isn't this cute? This was one of the cut aparts from the, that uh, three by four journal and card sheet. And then I just cut flaps. And what were the measurements of the flaps? So they would have been, they are now th about three and a quarter. So they would have been three and three quarters by four and a half and just score on the long side. And then that's, that's it. So all four pages are made the same. And then I put in a pocket. So, you know, you just take the measurement of this and that's three and a half, add an inch, score on both sides in the bottom, and you've got a pocket. I hope that wasn't too fast or too confusing. And then here again is the little, doesn't that look like an egg? A little egg cut apart, which I thought would be adorable to put just a little oval picture in or just a little journaling. And you can stick photos in this pocket. You don't have to put it on a photo mat. But there is room here. In fact, I counted. There is room in this book for 30 photos, 30 small photos. Um, I'll go through the book, and then as I go through the other one, I'll talk to you about how to get, if you're normally 
printing out four by six photos. We'll talk about that. So here's another one that comes out. Let me stick this in before it gets lost. And then this will close and then this opens. So you have room for photos here and there's an adorable pocket. And here is the little egg shaped little uh, journaling card, I guess. I don't know. Um, I love this paper. I thought it's very, very pretty, very springy, free fun. Um, and then this one opens and that comes out all the way. Here's another one of the cut aparts, which I cut smaller and then used my, um, just a, a corner punch just to add something a little different to it. He was going to go on the front, but this guy won out. So anyhow, so this will open like that. And as you can see, I've double matted a lot of the pages. It just makes it, um, especially with the white on white, it just makes it pop a little more. This page was, I think it was from one of the journaling cards, and it was a little bit too long for my pocket. So what I did is I cut most of this straight across, and then where these two tulips were, I just fussy cut around it. So that way it still fit on the pocket and um, and it works and you probably didn't notice it's a little bit too short and that's why uh, you see the edge but no no harm no foul so there we go and here is another card that comes out and here's the final page I just thought that was really fun and I love the carrots on the back side of the 3x4 journaling card page so I used them and here is a little egg shaped photo mat and then this was from one of the journaling cards I used the die cut to uh, cut it out and back it on a piece of the white artisan card stock and it's not a pretty pocket I thought that all look I left the page the it blank in the back there is the hello bunny so now I'm going to show you the other one this is called happy spring where the other one was more Easter this one was a gear towards spring. Um, I may have some Easter things in there, I, I forget. So this book is three and a half by four with a one inch spine. It has four signatures in it and you'll see how easy these signatures are. So happy spring, that was from one of the cut aparts. And again, I took my corner rounder, corner punch and just added a Oh, I forget what that one's called. I'll have to look it up. So anyhow, first page, inside cover, has a little pocket. And then here we go to put um, just a cute little photo on. I love the background of this. That'll open up. Then here's a pocket with one of the journaling cards that I cut down. Here's a little pocket page. I just rounded the corners and used my little... Uh, tab punch to punch this. I've had a mustache for quite a while. So that is how I made that. And then I'll take you through the rest and I'll talk to you about getting photos cut. So normally people will say, but Debbie, I usually get four by six photos printed because that's what they print at my local drugstore. And I said, well, that's okay. You still can print four by six photos, but just collage them. And when you say, how do you collage them? I say, go and download a collage app and put your photos and collage them. So for instance, you can collage onto a four by six photo two three by four photos. You just get two three by four photos. The collage app will show you how to do it. And now you get three by four photos, which would be perfect for this book. Now this one you want a little bit smaller so you can, instead of getting one big 4x6 photo, you could have four 2x3 photos in on one 4x6 photo uh, page. And you're not paying any extra for it. You're just paying for one 4x6 photo. So go download Collage app. The one that I've used is Pick Collage. So go to, I don't know if it's available through Google Play, but it is available through the App Store. Isn't that cute? Don't you love those little 
umbrellas with the rainbow. I just thought that was a fun grouping. So anyhow, download the app and print to your heart's desire. That is, of course, if you don't have a little Instax printer or a small printer. Um, and then here's a little room. So it is all spring. I don't have any Easter in this one. I thought, you know, you could document your garden. If you went to a botanical garden or an arboretum, it would be fun to take pictures and put them in here. So those are the two projects I made as a design team project for Country Craft Creations using Echo Park, my favorite spring, the 6x6 paper pad, the coordinating solids paper pack, and one 12x12 sheet, which is my favorite Easter, the 3x4 journaling cards. Easy schmeasy, and wasn't that fun? So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button button please and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I have another couple of little albums coming up so um, stay tuned to my channel and you will see them soon. That's what I have for you today. Have a fabulous day.